Oops, I did it again. I got another project. Do not show your financial advisor you're watching these videos because he will not ever allow you to do it again. He will cancel your Twitter account and delete you from YouTube forever. So don't, don't do it. But subscribe, hit that like button, throw me a comment, let me know what projects, other things you're working on. And for those of you that have owned any of this or the airplanes or anything else crazy like that that we're doing, let me know some tips and tricks that you use or you've found that could help myself and all the other awesome people that are watching these videos succeed in this crazy life. It's a uh, military Humvee, 1989 slant back, X doors, diesel engine. It's all taken apart right now because it just got painted. And that is what I'm working on at home when I'm not working on the airplane. So I've just got projects everywhere I go. Pretty cool though, huh? I've actually owned this for two years now, uh, almost three years. Jeez, when did I buy this thing? It's been a while, it's been a few years. When I first got it, it was a two-door troop carrier. So take out that door and then put a big box on top of it here, a big uh, canvas box with the benches in the back. And actually, I've got a video or a, a picture of it here. That's what it looked like whenever we picked it up in Kansas. And then I bought the four doors that you see there, the slant back and stuff. Now you'll notice it's not the turret, so it's a solid roof up there. And I did that on purpose because anybody out there that's ever had one of these or been in the military and you've rode in them, the ones that had the turret, they leak like a sieve. Anytime it would rain or anything would get up there, snow, it would melt and all of it would just pour right inside. They were horrific. I bought it from Gov Planet, and then I did all the work to it, put all the, the stuff on it. It's Honestly, it's been absolutely dead nuts reliable. The only thing I've ever had to do was replace the batteries because it would sit for six, eight months, a year at a time. And you just go out and you turn the little deal, fires right up, boom, and you take off wherever you want to go. It's been the most dependable vehicle I've ever had, that's for sure. And what am I going to do with it now? Well, funny enough, you should ask, because as soon as I finish this thing, I'm actually going to be selling it. Yeah, unfortunately, that's true. I had, it did look like this whenever I was using it for my company. And then I went to sell it like that, and wouldn't you know it, nobody wanted one that looked like that. So, what do I got to do? I got to go spend a bunch of money and paint it and change it so that more people will want to buy it. So, it looks like I've got another project on my hands. Holy moly. This one is, is pretty sweet. As you can see... It's all taken apart right now. I got the windows all out. I'm getting those, uh, those are all getting redone. And the interior, this is all gonna get painted black. The seats are gonna get changed out because those seats are massively uncomfortable. And that one over there, they're gonna be those black uh, seats. You can go for a Jeep and stuff like that. And cover all the inside. My kid's seat right there in the middle. Little third jump seat, what do you think? and change out these seats as well, and then put a little bench seat in the middle. And that's about it, really. Well, change out the wheels and tires. These are the original ones that have the steel ring in the middle. Uh, they're just, they ride really rough. I mean, the whole truck rides really rough, but they're the older original ones, so I'm gonna put some new wheels and tires on it. New interior and paint, uh, all the, the military stuff, paint it all black, get the bottom detailed out put all the lights and everything back on it, put door handles on it. Let me give you a little tour of this. This is the start switch and on these, just flip that on, wait for the light to turn off and then start it. Three, two, one, go. And that's it. This is your light switch here. You gotta lift up the lock here, turn it one click for the regular running lights, another click for the headlights. And then if you go back this way, that's for the blackout stuff. And down here is for your dash lights, dim and that. These are the massive gauges over here. It's all turned off. 
Here's your heater controls, and we use the term heater very loosely because it doesn't really do anything. Got some vents there that slide open and close. Again, it doesn't do anything. These vents up here are for the defroster. They don't work. They they work, but they just don't work. And if you've, if you've ever been in the military or rode in one of these things, you know what I'm talking about. You have your transmission uh, differential uh, transfer case controls here. Your transmission, it's only on a three speed. Here's your parking brake. Two pedals, gotta keep it army simple. Oh look, speaking of army. Yeah. And your buttstock goes in there. And I took it off of this side, but it's still on that side. That's where the M16 holder goes over there. I'm gonna leave that on. That's pretty stinking cool. And uh, this is the back of it here. Not a, not a whole lot going on back here. Keeping it simple. Seats that fold up into seats over there. You can see that one. That's it. This is the aftermarket uh, extreme luxury in the, the Hummer world. It's called a center console with a cup holder. And I put in the uh, cigarette lighters for the phone chargers. That's it. This thing is simple as it gets. Couple of interesting facts. This has portal axles, a two to one gear reduction. So the axle comes in on the top. It has some gears down here and then comes through the hub here to give these wheels twice as much torque. That's pretty cool. Another fun fact is the differentials that are in these use a, a worm drive gear. I believe it's called a torsion style differential. It says limited slip differential. It doesn't use clutches or anything like that. So it's really easy to service in the field and you don't have parts that wear out but it still gives you a limited slip. So if one wheel either is spinning or in its case, unfortunately, would get blown off, then you can still drive it with the other side and that would lock up there. Pretty neat. This shares some similarities with some airplanes. It has a 24 volt charging system. Most cars are 12 volt. This is 24 volt. So it uses two batteries instead of one. And uh, it makes electronics in these things kind of a pain when you're coming at it from the civilian world and under the hood oh, we have the mighty gutless wonder 6.5 liter gm diesel not even a turbo so this thing is pretty much awful it it doesn't have enough power to even get out of its own way uh it is detuned because diesels as most of you know they smoke and because it's military, if this smoked out of the tailpipe there, if you were hid behind a bunker and you started up or took off and a big puff of smoke would come out, well, guess what? You just gave away your location. You can't do that when you're in battle. So these are detuned so that they do not smoke. And unfortunately, detuned also means no power. So yeah, you're not going anywhere fast. And it has a top speed of 55 miles an hour. And that's if conditions are just perfect and you got a slight downhill.